So it's about 540 watts at uh, just over 7 amps. This is the fast charger. It is um, very convenient, very quick, a little noisy with the um, fans going on, but I keep it in the basement, so normally it doesn't bother me. Um, the battery indicator here changes the colors uh, from red, orange, green um, to indicate that uh, the battery is actually charging. And these indicators here uh, would normally indicate the percentage. Uh, so when the battery is lower in charge, they would only go up to you know, whatever percentage it thinks the battery state of charge is at. Um, right now it seems to be close to full, so it goes all the way up. We'll see. Um, I suspect that the um, charger will decrease the charge current, so as the charge completes, and that's exactly what's happening, so um, I don't know if you can see here, the wattage is um, right now continuing to go down, it's down to under 250 watts, um, currently was, um, you know, close to five, 600 um, when we started the charge, and these are the amps about 3 amps. So I'll keep it on the amps because that's that's more interesting to look at. And uh, as it goes below 1 amp, below half amp eventually, uh, we'll see when it stops. Another interesting thing to look at is the voltage drop. So um, on the outlet it's just a couple of volts, so not terrible. Uh, and so-called factor for those who care is measured uh, at 0 0.6463 which I think it's it's good and back to current it's already down to 3 amps approximately and it's holding steady there Maybe the curve isn't um, quite as linear as I thought it would be. Uh, I thought I would see a quicker drop in the amps. It probably just uh, reduces the amps to about half what they were before and holds it steady for a while. Oops, there it goes, goes down. It's going down pretty quickly. Um, you know, 2.7 amps. Interesting. I think it's holding at around 2.7 right now for a few moments. And uh, after a few seconds, it will drop it down again. Um, a few milliamps and uh, uh, stay there. So I guess it's a stepped function. It's not like smooth. Uh, and continuous, but it goes down in little steps. So um, let's see if I can show you how it goes down to something like 2.5, 2.6. There it goes, it starts going down. There it is. Two forty, just under. So now it's holding it around uh, three thirty five or so. probably gonna stay there for a few moments and then drop to probably about 2 amps and uh, go on from there. 
There it is, dropping again. Just over 2 amps, 2.1 amps, and it seems to be staying there for a little bit. Yep, looks like a stepped function. Probably cheaper to make this way than continuously variable, more even, maybe even more reliable. Who knows, but uh, that's what it does. Alright, I'll pause here because uh, it's just boring to watch numbers. And we'll come back when uh, the charge level is... Uh, uh, almost complete. Notice that um, the indicator in the battery has stopped flashing and here we get 100% charge indicated which means um, or I think it means that now the battery is being balanced so you'll see that there is still pretty good current going on it was about 2 amps uh, when I notice the light go off approximately uh, now it's going down so um, let the charger complete the charging cycle until it shuts off automatically which it will do eventually um, this type of charging where you let it sit near fully charged uh, for the charger to balance the cells is um, important to let happen um, every now and then, every few charges at least, um, to give the charger a chance to balance the, the cells to the same exact voltage. This will give you a consistent and uh, best capacity for your battery and prevent the chance for um, imbalance of the cells which may lead eventually to damage to even individual cells. So what you want to do is, um, for most batteries of lithium um, uh, composition is to fully charge them, let them balance, then use them immediately. Don't keep them charged for a long time without using them. Um, use them down to about half or whatever you think uh, the percentage is, even a little bit is fine. Um, and just let them stay until next time you need them. Before you need them, charge them up and use them again. Uh, this will prolong the life. Try not to fully discharge them. Um, batteries are rated let's say a thousand cycles until their capacity diminishes to 80% of the original. Well, uh, they still work, they just have less capacity after a thousand cycles. However, if you don't, this is uh, usually rated if you fully charge them, use them down to fully discharged, and uh, that's a thousand cycles for this specification. Now, if you fully charge them, use them down to half, fully charge them, use them down to half, You'll probably get a few extra hundred cycles, uh, a couple of extra hundred cycles um, until the capacity diminishes to 80. So you prolong the battery life. And if you don't fully charge every time, if you charge for let's say 80%, use down to 60 and, and so on several times, um, that will prolong the battery life even further. You can double it um, for some chemistries. <coughs> um, so you're trading run time, let's say if you ran for one hour before, you only run for half hour every time, but you can do it um, twice or three times as many times uh, as you would have been able otherwise. So uh, theoretically you actually get more useful life out of the battery, more useful capacity through the life of the battery, if you will, um, if you just partially char charge and discharge every time as opposed to fully charge and discharge. Um, again, don't forget to periodically let the battery charger fully charge the battery until it shuts off, until this um, balancing equalization cycle completes. Uh, it's important and if you don't do it very often, it may take longer because uh, some of the cells may get disbalanced. All right, we're down to 1.18 amps of charge current and the cat is getting bored as am I watching those numbers. Hopefully it will finish soon, and uh, what I plan to do is use the blower to blow away some of the snow that uh, came down overnight instead of showing. We'll see how that works. The charge current is down to 0 0.72 amps, and uh, 
battery charger still going strong. Uh, no flashing, no blinking, still in the equalization cycle. In fact, let's see. Yeah, well, it doesn't really tell anything here. Uh, except that when it's a steady light, it's fully charged. I must admit, I haven't read the manual. <laughs> So, I don't know if it talks about equalization or not, but that's the general pr principle of how all those chargers are supposed to work. And we're still at 0 0.72 amps after maybe 15 minutes of just sitting there and uh, working. Now, I got a shame that I haven't read the user manual, so there it is. This is for the... Um, Ego 56 volt 30 minute charger. This is the model number C5500. Same as I have. And you can see that uh, they say uh, wait until. Where's my finger? Wait until the cooling fan stops. Remove the battery pack from the charger and disconnect charge from the power supply. So that's what you should do if they say that. Um, and uh, you know, it should be safe to charge. It will perform self maintenance. Um, that's actually pretty good. Um, hmm. That's very good, actually. If you forget your um, number six here, it will actually discharge your battery for you. Huh. Interesting. Yeah. So, read the manual, do what they say. And remember, uh, the fewer full charge cycles you do on your battery, the longer it will last you. Bye bye. Well, while I'm waiting for this thing to fully charge, um, there is a couple of other interesting things I want to talk about. Um, you can see that um, the charger has a temperature protection. The charging will begin when the temperature is above 37 Fahrenheit, which is just slightly above freezing, and it shouldn't charge if it's really hot. So don't charge in freezing temperatures, don't charge in the sun. Um, it's best if you don't keep your battery in a place where it would freeze. So don't keep it in a shed outside, take it off, put it in your garage uh, where the temperatures will be above 40 Fahrenheit. Uh, keep it in the shade so it doesn't overheat um, and that would work because otherwise if it's too cold or too hot um, it won't charge and it might not even work so here is what I was talking about when you have a fully charged battery full indicator not blinking solid light um, it says 90% they don't call they don't call it main I mean um, balance or equalization i guess they choose the easy way out to say maintenance charging but that's exactly what it's doing it's um, balancing the cells to make sure that your battery performs at its best here it is how it's going to work if your battery is too cold or too hot i've never experienced that my battery has never overheated and i've never let it cool off too much so i haven't seen how that actually works i hope i never see it because that those extreme temperatures indicate, especially if it's too hot, um, reduce the battery life dramatically. So you don't want to let it uh, get hot. Don't overpower it. Don't let it stay in the sun. Yep. Well, looks like the charger is also not waterproof. So <laughs> uh, for those fans to work well, I suppose they're not watertight. So don't let it sit outside when it's damp, where temperatures vary, so condensation may develop inside uh, and cause some of the components to um, rust, oxidize, or even uh, short circuit due to um, moisture. So keep it in, keep it dry. So is that really a 30 minute charger? Well, yes and no. Why? Um, it can charge um, a battery in, in 30 minutes. It, I don't know which um, capacity battery charges in 30 minutes. Mine is the 
5 amp hour battery, so the largest capacity they sell currently. And I've never had to wait for more than half an hour, but um, uh, again, I've never really fully discharged it. Now, here's the catch. Half an hour is until the green light turns solid and this one goes off. So that uh, this is the so-called normal charge, 90%, which is what you should do most of the times. However, if you let it sit like I am right now, for the um, quote-unquote maintenance mode to complete for the instructions until the fans <laughs> come off that's certainly more than 30 minutes I've been sitting here for a long time today um, I don't know maybe 45 minutes already starting from you know maybe half charged battery so depends on how often you do the maintenance mode if you do it often, it will take less time because your um, cells are supposedly more balanced. If you do it every other time, every fifth time, every tenth time, it may take a little longer. So, is that a 30 minute charger? Yes, if you turn it off when the lights are full. No, if you wait until equalization or maintenance completes. It takes a little over I just missed it it just turned off and um, so I didn't get it on camera but now it's the amps are down to pretty much nothing so the charge is complete maintenance mode is complete um, and the battery is ready to go so when I started filming this video it was about you know maybe five or ten minutes into the charge and again I didn't start from a fully depleted battery it was probably half used roughly I, I have no idea I didn't let it deplete completely and um, this video covers a period of about well, at least 35 minutes so the battery has been sitting in a charge for about 40 minutes charging so uh, there you go it's more than 30 minutes but if we just count the time to fully charged, it's, it was less than that. So it, it's a very quick charger as far as um, tools chargers go. I have no complaints. If you have two batteries, um, it will charge your second battery before you deplete your first battery if you're mowing or doing something that is not um, overly taxing on the battery. If you're using the most powerful blower at maximum speed, well, you might run off your first battery before your second battery is charged. Let's plug in the battery and uh, go blow off some of the snow. Okay, use two hands. <laughs> there it is. I'm using the um, 575 CFM uh, blower and it's been great. It's extremely powerful. Uh, fairly quiet although not not so much I mean it's it's a blower it has to move air you can check the um, charge level by pressing the button green is good yellow go back to the charger red probably it won't work okay. somebody else had the same idea <laughs> there you go it's a cold day and blowing the snow out seems to work pretty good. It hasn't stuck to the ground. Let's go get our Okay. Get in, get in, please. Get in. Get in. So, it will be interesting to see whether using the attachment works better or not. What do you think, Matty? Meow? Attachment or not? Let's try without it. Good. 
morning. Lazy way. <laughs> Okay, I'm blowing at full power right now. I don't know if you can hear me, but it's not terribly loud. It's probably... No. The guy over there is noisier than I am. <laughs> Quick. Let's try the attachment. See if using this little concentrator will give a quicker or better performance. Very easy to put on, just clicks in place. Just like that. I don't even need to use full power. Look at that. It's barely working next to the minimum power level. Which is pretty high. I wish it had a lower power level or something. without the attachment. I, I think it works better without it. Let's give it a try. Yeah, I think it works better without it. Yeah. 
sure it's the neighbor doing it this way. Hi, Neil. <laughs> Point of comparison. Let's do the uh, most powerful Toro Ultimate Plus Lorvac. Let's see if that works any better than the um, Ego. Attachment one more time in the heavier stuff. Let's see if it works any better. In 20 minutes of the battery well there's a little moisture here where the battery grooves are but inside where the contacts are it's uh, dry I'm gonna try to measure the voltage of this battery um, see you know what is after using it for a little bit now problem I have is that my connectors are too wide and I can't reach so I have to improvise here what do we use for connectors hmm. 
but I improvise, but I have cat food and scissors. So I'll see if I can do some metal strips out of this tin and uh, extend the connectors temporarily. Careful, you can kill yourself. Here it is, making a connector out of cat food can. Now this is probably too long, I'm gonna shorten them and get four of them going. See you in a sec. Alright, careful, don't touch anything else while you do this. And in fact, don't do it. You do not want this to cross, okay? If they do, you will <laughs> get such a nasty spark, uh, you may electrocute yourself. So be very, very careful not to touch them. I'm offsetting them so I don't uh, accidentally touch them. Well, let's see. Let's see what it shows. All right, so it's 53 and a half volts. We'll see later. Well, there it is, 53 and a half. Curious what those middle ones are for. Nothing. Okay. With the battery measured at 53.5 volts, we now know that um, it barely made a dent into the <laughs> charge. Now, fully charged, this battery is about 56 volts or so. I believe it's a 14 cells in series, three in parallel, and um, um, Ego is conservative in how much they charge the battery. Um, because they don't fully use capacity of the cells. Um, the full capacity per, of each cell is 4.2 volts and uh, um, theoretically you don't want to charge it over 4.2 volts and they charge it less than that which is good for the battery life. Um, <laughs> I think this battery will last or should last quite a long time even if fully charged every time fully charged quote-unquote uh, per the charger that Ego supplies which doesn't fully charge the battery cells. This is good. This is very good. Um, 53.5 volts down from 56 it is very little um, use. Maybe, I don't know. I'm not calculating. Don't hold me to it. But I think I've used less than 30% of the capacity for this little uh, snow cleanup. If we divide 53.5 by the number of cells, 14, um, we get uh, something like 3.8, over 3.8 volts um, per each cell at this moment in time, which is actually more than the nominal voltage of 3.6, 3.7 for those cells, which is like half charged. So we are above half charged for, you know, this decently heavy use with um, one of the most powerful blowers that um, Ego provides. So it's a good battery, that's why it doesn't overheat in use, that's why it doesn't overheat in charge. If we have three of those cells in parallel, each of them supplying something like 20 amps maximum, this battery is capable of probably 60 amps um, continuous maximum current, provided that uh, the battery management system in it um, allows that. Uh, that's quite a bit of chunk compared to the 15 amps or so for the corded blower. Uh, so no wonder the uh, battery powered blower and mower and other hand tools can actually be more powerful than corded versions, which uh, can only draw 10, 15, maximum, maybe 20 amps, very seldom if you have a dedicated circuit and, and specialized tool. Well, this battery indicator, while it may not be very accurate in terms of um, um, the actual state of charge, it's probably good enough to indicate whether the level is dangerously low if it turns yellow, which I have seen it do that after you know half an hour of mowing. Uh, that means it's you know the battery's probably under half full and uh, time to charge. So you can periodically check the, the charge level. Yeah, I think that's good enough for that. See it yellow, charge it. See it red, charge it immediately. <laughs> if it's green, 
you can use it maybe discharge a little bit more on the next use so that it doesn't stay fully charged or near fully charged for long times uh, although as we mentioned because um, ego does not overcharge the battery does not, does not use the full capacity of the cells even when quote unquote fully charged by the charger this battery is not actually fully charged to 4.2 volts per cell each it's less than that so um, they've done a good job of minimizing potential damage to the cells from overcharging I'm curious to see how well the battery keeps its charge so uh, when in storage so I'm gonna tape a little note that I don't forget that we were at 53.5 volts state of charge on December 30th <laughs> just before New Year's Eve so um, I'll check the voltage again I'm keeping the little strips for that purpose in a few weeks and um, see how it holds up I hope it doesn't self discharge too much if it does not then you know no need to worry for the rest of the winter but uh, checking it periodically with um, the power indicator or if you have um, a way to measure the actual battery voltage that would be best so that you don't let it uh, go down in charge too much which will certainly damage it ready for the next time I want to check the voltage <laughs>